The third component that we'll examine in Domain 4, Professional Responsibilities, is the component Communicating with Families. Educators have long recognized that when they can enlist the participation of students' families in the educational process, student learning is enhanced. When parents express specific concerns about their children in school, it is because they care deeply about their children's progress. Any response should be handled with empathy and respect. The response must be sensitive to the cultural norms of the family and the community. What does communicating with families look like? Teachers can demonstrate their communication with families in many ways, such as by keeping copies of such things as class newsletters, handouts for back to school night, or descriptions of a new program. This collection could include guidelines for parents on how to review a child's portfolio and maintaining a phone log and a log of personal contact with parents. Electronic communications, including emails and web updates, can also be included. What might teachers do if they are not skilled in communicating with families? When teachers do not have a system for communicating with families, one might observe the teacher provides little or no information about the instructional program to families. The teacher provides minimal information to families about individual students or the communication is inappropriate to the cultures of the families. The teacher does not respond or responds insensitively to family concerns about students. Or, the teacher makes no attempt to engage families in the instructional program or such efforts are inappropriate. In summary, when teachers communicate with families, they provide frequent information to families as appropriate about the instructional program. They communicate with families about students' progress on a regular basis, respecting cultural norms, and are available as needed to respond to family concerns. They engage families in the instructional program frequently and successfully. This concludes this presentation, Communicating with Families. Thank you.